So Undertow, much like uh, Subtransit, which I just recorded, uh, this is another map that's actually really good all around for like, you know, all the classes can kind of shine here. Um, well, all the offensive ones anyway. Um, perhaps uh, even more so than Subtransit, just because the, the map layout isn't quite as spread out. So like even some of the slower classes will have a, like Demo Man and Soldier, especially in my opinion. Um, actually, even especially the soldier, actually, there's some good opportunities for rocket jump in here. Not that there weren't in, like, you know, so, like, you know, sub-transit, but, like, especially here, um, with the conveyor belts in the map, and, um, just, like, the, the, you'll see what I mean. There's, um, something unique about the river in the middle. Um, I feel every chance, um, every, well, every class that you'd reasonably expect to use in, like, these team, de this team deathmatch mode would work well in this map, is what I'm trying to say. It's a good all-rounder. Now, if you couldn't guess, I personally prefer it for doubles, as I always do, so teams of, four teams of two, because I'm a loser like that. Um, so the thing is, with the river here... I tend to notice that the grenades are actually affected a little bit by this, it's hard to describe. But I feel when you throw one, like the grenades go, like, get yeeted, sort of, especially at the end here. I've seen grenades just, like, fling against the wall. So take advantage of that if you throw one at the top and time it right. And you know there's a bunch of people in the river, you could probably cause some serious damage. Um, this area is nice because, like, the, like, you know, there's a lot of little areas for the, like, the engineer to get a foothold. Like, obviously, here's a good one for a dispenser. You might want to guard with your partner. I mean, there's always the risk of the water trap killing you, and I, I'm actually not sure how building stuff works, so if you build something, if it would explode with the water, but, you know, maybe that's a good workaround. I'll have to test that when I play test in a second. But yeah, slower guy, like, classes can take advantage of the conveyor belts to move around. There's a lot of decent spots for the sniper, but also a lot of decent little hiding spots and ways to get around. Uh, like I said, the soldier can get up to the multiple levels. Much like if you had the gauze gun, um, in, like, base half-life, you can get around pretty easily. Um, like, I mean, this is a good, like, you know, health charges to defend. Um, and going back down over here. Here, I think, you know, this would be a really good place if you could work together with an engineer. Or even two engineers, you could build teleporters here. And, like, have a secret base of operations, almost, I want to say. I don't know how that would work in theory. This is a pretty theoretical, because... Um, this one I'm fairly confident I never played in any, like, rotation on any server. But there's just, this one just seems to bring out creativity in my mind. That you'd think, you'd hope so, if you could get, like, the right people, would lead to, like, some good shenanigans. But, you know, it's just theoretical in my mind. But yeah, this one, regardless of the theoretical n n n -ness -ness, good map, good map, play it. I'd be remiss if I didn't show off Dario Casali's uh, little signature real quick. Yep. Oh yeah, by the way, I, I actually forgot when I brought up the uh, water thing with the engineer. Um, you could build underwater. I actually genuinely did forgot about that. Sorry, AOL. Let's do this, bro. Obviously, if you're gonna use the water trap up here, you might not want to do it um, if your buddy's down there because you know that's how you you know team kill, lose points. I mean the game does. I have friendly fire off, and I don't even think it's on normally anyway. But you know, still you might you might want to avoid doing that if your buddies are down there. Yeah, but see what I mean? I feel like the fi like the grenade physics are. Well, when you throw it in a certain way, it's hard to describe. I swear I've seen grenades move faster than they should have. I might have imagined that, so don't actually... Take what I said earlier with a grain of salt. Still, though, chucking grenades down there is always a good idea, especially in the middle part here, where a lot of the bots will tend to just hang out, so... Ah, I think it's about a good time to drown some people. Yeah, I don't even know where uh, AOL is, so... Yeah, see, look at that. Get some sick air, and if you didn't mess that up, you would have been able to get right back in there. So, yeah, I would say this is probably the, the soldier besides the heavy weapons guy and, like, the engineer are probably the best uh, classes for this map. But, really, I can see everyone having, a like, their time to shine in this map, basically. See, especially with the soldier, I brought you back my engineer idea. Have one person be the soldier. Sorry, AOL. Or... I just... 
You look yellow. What, what's going on? I'm so... Oh, he's a spy. Oh. Well, my idea was have... <laughs> I'm an idiot. Have one person... Yeah, kind of like, you know, the engineer building shit here, like dispenser and teleports. And then have, like, your like, your soldier kind of defending, or, like, any other class. But definitely the soldier, because the soldier, like, could get up real easy. Also, heavy weapons guy, it seems you didn't understand the concept of a button. Tut tut. Yeah, see, it was over there. I swear the physics on the uh, water affects the grenades sometimes, but I'm really not sure at this point. I don't know anything anymore. So yeah, that's uh, Undertow is definitely, um, in my opinion, this is equally fun here as it is in its uh, native game. Um, again, it's really good doubles. Um, probably would work with like you know teams of three as well if you're more adventurous. Um, and yeah, it's, it just works, in my opinion, with the game's mechanics. Good, good, fun grenade play. Good, uh, potential, like, you know, p potential... What's the word I'm looking for? The potential for every class to shine, you know, stuff like that. Uh, some classes, uh, you know, have a lot of mobility options here. Hey, yeah, check it out if you want a good ma de team deathmatch map in uh, Team Fortress Classic.